Hello everyone. Welcome to Mayor Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily read code problem. And the problem's name is Task Scheduler. So you are given an array of CPU tasks. Each representing each represented by letters from A to Z, capital A to capital Z. And there is a cooling time between every two consecutive same tasks okay of at least n intervals okay and each cycle or interval allows completion of only one task okay so to complete one task you will be requiring at least one interval or one cycle you can say task can be completed in any order you may like but there is a constraint that between two identical tasks there will be there should be at least cooling time of n intervals okay and that is the constraint other than that there is no other constraint and uh, you have to just return the minimum number of intervals required to complete all the tasks that are out there okay now let's have a look at the constraints so the length of the task array will be of order 10 raised to power 4 and each letter in task array will be an uppercase letter and cooling time will be ranging from 0 to 100 okay so let's see how we can solve this particular problem so let's take the you know last example that is there okay this is the last example that we are given so we uh, we will execute task in form of batches okay why we are uh, considering batches because you know uh, the number of tasks in one particular uh, let's say there is a task which is having maximum number of frequencies okay so as you can see a is uh, occurring three times and b is occurring three times okay so what is the you uh, whatever task you may like to pick you can pick let's say i decide to pick a task so between these three occurrences of a there should be a cool of time of at least three okay three cool of times are required for the last occurrence of a no cool of, uh, cool of time is required because uh, you know there is no other occurrence of a after this so it is not there so no cool of time required so how many total you know these are vacant spots okay in your cool of time you can if you are having other other tasks to execute you can very well do them otherwise you can just sit idle okay so let's uh, you know uh, to minimize the number of intervals required we will try to utilize as much as idle time that we are having or idle slots we are having or you can say vacant slots so these are vacant slots okay or you can say idle slots okay so in order to you know uh, minimize the number of intervals required to complete all the tasks we will be uh, trying to use all the vacant uh, slots as much as possible okay so we will see what is the frequency of remaining task okay for b it is three and for the last occurrence of b you can just you know take it with last occurrence of a okay that's why we will be considering a minimum of maximum frequency which was 3 minus 1 and b's frequency b's frequency is 3 and maximum frequency minus 1 was 2 because you know anyways if b is having frequency equal to maximum frequency then b can be you know clubbed with the last occurrence of maximum frequency task okay so anyways we clubbed uh, b with this now we are only left with two frequencies of b 
so we will now you know consume two vacant slots or two idle slots okay this this is we are doing in order to minimize the number of intervals required then since you are not having any other task you are left with four vacant slots or four idle slots and those will require one interval of time each so four intervals of time uh, you will be sitting idle and other than that you can see that six intervals of time you will be working so this this six is nothing but task array length okay so this is what you will be you know returning at last so that is how you will be solving this particular problem and uh, yeah let's have a look at the implementation also so this is the implementation okay first of all you will be you know counting the frequencies of each task and since the tasks are labeled from a to z capital a to capital z and those are 26 in number capital alphabets and if you take relative difference of these with a it they can be represented by numbers from 0 to 25 that's why we are taking an array of size 26 and then we are calculating their frequencies this is the relative difference of current task character with capital a okay and to find the maximum frequency task you will sort the array okay once you have sorted the array whatever the task is at the very last is the maximum frequency task and those number of batches will be required okay so maximum frequency task was a and its frequency was three so three batches were required as you can see there are three batches for the last batch we will not be requiring any ideal idle time or vacant slots and in between all the occurrences of the max frequency task you should be having at least n idle slots and for the remaining task you will try to utilize those idle sports uh, slots as much as possible so this is what we are doing here and why we are taking the minimum of batch count and current frequency because you know the reason being that uh, for you know for if let's say there is a task which is having frequency equal to maximum frequency then its last occurrence as we did for b can be clubbed with the last batch okay so that's why and if there are vacant slots left then you will return whatever will was the task length plus vacant slots and if not then you will simply return the task length okay because every task will require at least one interval so these will be the number of intervals required so that is how we will be solving this particular problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then please feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead